If you want to open a bottle of sparkling wine like a pro and without taking someone's eye out, this is how you do it. Go ahead and get that bottle nice and cold. This is gonna prevent the cork from flying out. So before you do anything, make sure it's at the right serving temperature, which is gonna be really nice and chilly. Go ahead and identify the pull tab right here. Most of these are gonna have that in the foil and just yank that off. I'm gonna pull this and you'll see it's sort of perforated around the edges to make it super easy. That's off, toss it to the side. And you'll see here on the side, we've got the key. Now, when you're doing this, it's really important that once you remove this wire cage, you have to know that that cord can fly out at any time and they go real fast and real strong. So go ahead and pull down that key, but keep your fingers on top of here or your thumb around the side. Pull down that key and you're gonna twist it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna push on the inside and outside to get it nice and loose. I actually like to leave the wire cage on here because that means I'm never moving my thumb from the bottle. So to do that, I'm just gonna switch it since I'm right-handed, move my thumb over top of here, and I'm gonna grasp the whole cork and the neck of the bottle as I tilt it and grab it with my bottom hand. Now, if that bottle is a little bit more wet because it's got a little condensation, go ahead and grab a towel to use on the bottom or on the top. The key here is twisting from the bottom, not the cork. So I'm just gently keeping my hand here, but firmly to make sure that as I'm twisting, it doesn't explode. So I'm just gonna twist here from the bottom, holding the cork up here, and you'll feel the cork start to budge. Now, as it does it, don't twist the cork, just allow that cork to kind of remove itself gently, keeping a little pressure, and then that nice little sigh is what you want to get it open.